morning, y'all. This is uh, Wes with another Uber channel with Wes. Appreciate y'all coming along. Appreciate you clicking on the video, and I hope there's something in here that you're interested in. Uh, it's 10.33, and it is February the 3rd, and I'm just going out. Been running really, really hard for the last few weeks. I haven't really had time to put much videos on. But um, I'm going to try to, to get something on today. I've been running Uber and um, DoorDash lately. Um, you know, DoorDash is okay if you're kind of selective. Not near as good as Uber. Uh, Uber, I rarely have to turn a ride down. But DoorDash, I find myself turning down a good number of them. But not here in Blount County. It seems like Blount County is a little bit better. Anyways, my car is filthy, so I'm going to go get a wash before I do much. I went ahead and logged in to Uber Eats, but I don't expect to get busy for a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and i got to get my car washed and cleaned up. It's filthy. Plus, I do haul passengers in here from time to time. Usually during the slow, slow periods, it's like between 10.30 and noon. But today, I'm going to take that slow time and go ahead and clean my car up. See you guys. See you later. So, I uh, just got order from Uber and DoorDash at the same time. DoorDash offered me $6 to go 7.2 miles. Uber offered me $6.35 to go 2.6 miles. Uber won again. Okay, I got that order from Wendy's, and it's going 1.8 miles, and if I was ordering food through a third-party delivery service, I would not order from Wendy's. I'll tell you why. Not only did they not have the paperwork ready, but they made me get the drink, and I'm a driver. And they didn't staple or seal their bags or anything. Very, very unsanitary and unprofessional. Just so y'all know, that's the way Wendy's is. Okay, just got an order to go to Arby's from uh, DoorDash as soon as I turned it on. And it was about $9 for nine miles. That's going and picking it up and delivering it. So, you know, that's that's a dollar a mile. That meets my criteria. Okay, I think <clears throat> Arby did a worse job packing. See how unsecured that pack is? No cover on this coat. Oh, you guys. Okay, I got an order for five guys. Ten and a half miles for nine dollars and I think it's nine dollars and twenty-five cents. Little low. Well, I drive I drove out there and got that last one delivered. By the way, if you haven't checked it out, I have a lawn care channel. It's called Ratliff Family Lawns, and I do have work I can do, but it's just it's too cold for this old man. 
Here I am at my Arby's again. DoorDash sent me over here to pick up an order. Six dollars for 3.1 miles, so yeah, baby, I'll do that. Hey, right, Uber came along for me. It's almost a $20 order. It said I think nine miles, but I'm probably three or four miles from the place, so biggest problem is they said it's gonna take about 30 minutes. I don't think it'll take them that long, but we're gonna time it right now. It's 145, and we'll see if it actually takes them that long. I do have my DoorDash on, so if something comes in for DoorDash within the next 10 minutes, and if I can get it and get back within 20 minutes, I'll go ahead and take it and give them their 30 minutes. But if not, I will go and see if they they get it done a little bit sooner. I'm guessing they will. Although I got to admit, twenty dollars, it'd be worth me just waiting the thirty minutes. Even if it took thirty minutes to deliver it, that's twenty dollars for one hour's work. Now it's true; it's not all profit because that is gas and um, wear and tear on your car and so forth and so on. But I'm okay with making twelve to fifteen dollars an hour. I'm okay with that. So we'll see how it goes. On my way there now. If I get a DoorDash order, I'll give you a holler. Okay, just as I suspected, it did not take 30 minutes. It took 20. I had the food by two two minutes, uh, 202. And it, I think it was 242 when I said I was on my way, 242 or 245. Anyways, 15, 20 minutes, more or less. Um, so... By the time I got there, used the bathroom, washed my hands, and I also stopped and looked at a piece of lawn care equipment, and that'll be on my other channel. I thought it very interesting. So, uh, by the time I did that, it was ready to pick up, so not bad, not bad at all. 20 bucks, and it's uh, seven miles, seven and a half miles, so, you know, it's almost all highway, so... I'll probably be there in like 10 minutes or or less. So 35, 40 minutes, we'll say 40 minutes, 20 bucks. I'm good with that. Well, from start to finish, it took me a little bit longer than it should have. I should have been done 10 minutes ago, but I couldn't find this person. They was inside this massive building and there was no address anywhere. So I alerted Uber, and they sent me a notice. They they gave her seven minutes to respond, and then they sent sent me a notice that I can I can end the delivery. In other words, I can keep that fifty dollars worth of food for myself, and get paid my twenty dollar delivery fee. Didn't do it. I kept looking until I found her. I finally got it delivered at about 2.28. So if it was 2.22, I estimated it would be about 40 minutes to my delivery. But because it, I couldn't find her, it took me about 45. But that's okay. I found her, she got her food, it was still hot and fresh. And everybody's happy. And now I know about that. This is a great big building. It's a hollow on the inside. And apparently it holds a hundred different addresses because the building is so massive. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and we're blocked back in. We'll see if anything happens. So anyhow, I was thinking, um, and there's a bunch of toys. I should go back and get them. I think I will. I got time. I'm gonna go check them toys out. Anyways, uh, I've been thinking, you know, usually Wednesdays is a bad day to be out, but I just thought of something. Today is Wednesday the 3rd. The 3rd, a lot of people that get government checks, they get their checks today. So it might be unusually busy tonight. So I'm going to stay out a little while and see. Yeah. Okay, here's what i seen here. Got him a new toy. 
Well, while I was out getting Fletcher a toy, an order came in for DoorDash. I was so excited because it's almost gone, so I went ahead and pushed it. So I'm not exactly sure what kind of situation I got into here. But I'll let y'all know when I pick up the stuff from Bojangles. Okay. I know how far I'm going now. I'm going... Uh... 3.8 miles. I knew I knew that name, Carlton. I delivered to him yesterday. Real nice guy. Uh... So that came out to be $7 from the point where I was at. I'd say the total mileage may be about five and a half or six. So it's okay. Well, I'm here at Chick-fil-A. About 15 minutes before I got another order. Go in here and pick up my order. It's 8.50. Oh, it might be a hidden surprise in there. I forgot how many miles it was. I think I got a picture of it, but I don't think it's very far. Well, that was really nice and kind of that lady. She gave me a $12 tip. I really appreciate that. What I made there on that delivery... I cannot be pre I don't have to be pressured to get any work now for the next hour. I really appreciate that. She's babysitting her two little grandkids, one's three and one's one, so I guess she's in a really good mood. Mariah's that way when she's babysitting. Yesterday she was babysitting one that's eight months. Today she's babysitting Fletcher and he's almost He's getting pretty close to three. I think he's like two years and eight or nine months. Ten. Pretty close, though. All right. Waiting for another altar. Okay. We got another order. Um, this one here is O'Charlie's eight point or $8.50 for 6.7 miles total. I'm telling you. I don't know if y'all fellow dashers notice this but usually when there's a 50 on the end more times than not there's a pretty good tip with it too so that's going to be interesting to see what happens here I know the other one was 850 I think the other one was, I'm pretty sure it was 850 and I got it delivered and it turned out to be $15 so We'll see. Well, those kind people left me a $10 tip. Today's the third. People getting their checks in. They're feeling happy and good and generous. That's good for all of us. Okay, I just got another eight fifty for 2.7 miles. That means going to get it and deliver it. Total miles is 2.7. And this is 850. The last three 850s that I've done, the minimum tip has been $7. It's been a $7, $10, and $12. In a mile, turn left. Well, I've completed that order. That person, uh, their eight fifty turned into nine dollars, and uh, I do appreciate that. They didn't have to do that. That does help with the fuel. So I'm going to work my way home. Now I don't know if I'll make it. I'm going to leave my apps on, and we'll see how far I get. Um. Uber hasn't done much for supper, which is unusual because they've done, well, they actually haven't been real busy today, come to think of it. <clears throat> of course, DoorDash, they're always hopping, but they don't pay as good as Uber, but at least I'm busier, you know? Kind of busy. 
So we're going to make our way toward the house. It's almost 8 o'clock and I didn't really want to be out past 9. However, I didn't start, I think, till I don't know. It was pretty close to noon, I think, one way or another. I'll know when I look at the video, the first one I started. But Anyways, we're going to work our way toward the house. We'll see if we make it. Again, I'm on my way to the house. This time, I turned DoorDash off. Those last two orders, they both ended in 50. One was 850, one was 550. However, uh, so you're looking at 13, $14 is what it amounted to. And total driving was less than five miles. So I was very pleased about that. But now, DoorDash is just too busy for me. I've turned the DoorDash off. I've left the Uber on. And more than likely, I know if an order does come in for Uber, it's going to be a nice big one. DoorDash is really busy. But it's, for the most part, it takes a couple of DoorDash orders, sometimes three, to equal one Uber. Now, Uber hasn't been very good to, to me today. But still, I'm turning DoorDash off. It's 8 12. Um, I've probably been out about eight hours. And I've done okay. Today's the third of the month. A lot of people got paid. A lot of people ordering their food. And, you know, where they haven't had money all for the last couple of weeks because it gets low in the last two weeks of the month. Well, y'all, it's 829. It's still 32 degrees outside. Temperature never changes around here hardly. Anyways, um, I'm headed home. Appreciate y'all riding with me today. And uh, be sure and check out my other channel, Radliff family lawns I got some uh, dash cam videos I'm going to put on there three of them and because uh, you got to know as much as I'm on the road I see a lot of things so I've got three uh, incidents I'm going to put on there y'all might enjoy and uh, y'all have a good night